Hello everyone. Welcome back to Tetravoid Robotics and today we are going over a we are going to teach you guys how to create a my block that can follow the black line. So first you want to open EV3 classroom and you can have this screen. So um you want to start a new project. And after that, um, first of all, you want to create uh, a project name. And you don't have to do this step, but it's optional. So you, you can name it whatever you want, but as long as you know that it is a project where there's line follow. So you want to, so for me, I would type in line follow. And then we save it. Now, um, you have these symbols where blue is motors, pink is movement, purple is display, light purple is sound, yellow is events, orange is control, blue is sensors, green is generators, orange is variables, and red is my blocks. So we are making a my block today and we are going to click my blocks for the first step. So what you want um, on the first step is to make a block. And this, where, this is where it gets a little, a little bit more hard. It's not super hard, but it's pretty simple. So first you want to name it line follow so that we re it re this my block represents um, following the line. So once you have that down, you want to add the rotations. So, um, for example, let's see. Yeah, okay. So, you want to add the rotations, we add an input. So, this is number or text. So, we want to put rotation number. Okay. After we're done with that, we want to add just rotations so that we represent this as just part of the rotation. So now we've done the rotations. Now we want to put um now we want to put a speed. So we want speed percentage. So then we want to add another label and we want to name this speed. So after you've done that, you have already created your my block. Um, you don't have to name these, whatever, um, but I prefer you name them so that you know that these are the rotations. So after that, you can save. And if you accidentally saved your block, you can edit it. So. For example, now you can like edit it. So after you've done that, you can now see that you have a block, you have a my block right here. So this is defining the my block. So whenever you um, see there's the, when program starts, you want to put this here. But for right now, it doesn't do anything because you want to put blocks down here and there's no blocks. So we'll, what we want to do first is to um, reset degrees counted. So if you want to like uh, um, click movement or scroll up, um, you'll get to the motors section and there will be the block reset degrees counted. Um, you can pause the video if you want to be, if you want to follow step by step and if I'm too fast, you can pause the video. Okay, so next off, we want, because if you connected your robot, as you see here, first turn on your EV3 brick, then enable Bluetooth, and then you connect. If you connected to your brick, then there will be variables up here, and it shows which port. So there's port A, there's port B, and there's port C, and there's port E. I'm in D, so there's A, B, C, D. So 
Um, there's also um, color, there's also sensor ports, but for this one, we're first gonna do motor ports. So if one, if your motors say B or another letter, um, you want to set it as, um, you want to set the letter here. So after you've done that, um, for your first motor, because our, mo our robot is connected to B, we want to add another one for our second motor. And our, ours is connected to C. So after you've done this, now you actually want to start the programming on fo following the line. So you want to you want this program to repeat. So we go here. There's the repeat ten times. We're not going to use that. We're going to use the repeat until. Um. So first of all, um, there is this hexagon right here. Um, and what you want to do is you want to go to operations, and you see hexagon. So we want it to be greater than. A number or some variable. Um, so for right now, you can just backspace the um, 100. This is this is just an example, probably. So after you're here, you because now there's ovals in the slots. So you want to go to you want to add like well for for right now you want to go to motors. And because there's only two, we want to use degrees counted. Motor, motor, um, whatever port you have, degrees counted. So you want to put it in the first slot. And um, you want to change um, A to whatever motor you want to use. So you want to use B, then you do B. So you don't have to use two motors here. You can just use one. For example, you can just use one like this and it'll still work. But for right now, we are gonna use two. So um, if you're wondering what, um, what variable or whatever goes in this box, now we want to go to operations and operators. Um, so we want to multiply the amount of rotations, rotation number, by 360. Because one rotation is just a full circle, which is 360 degrees. So if you see your actual my block, um, if you change this, for example, to six rotations and the speed to, let's say, 20 or 30, then rotation number and speed percentage, this speed will be this, 30%. So right here, this, guys, is the speed. So we're not going to use speed yet because... For right now, we are doing the rotations. So the rotation is six. So we would put this here or here. You can either one because we're multiplying. So you put it, we are just gonna put it in the front. So then you want to multiply that by 360. So you want to repeat until the degrees counted is greater than the rotation number times 360. So after you've done this part, now is the actual line following program, which is going to be inside this repeat until. <clears throat> so we are first going to go to movement. And um, so you can see a lot, there's a lot of um, blocks. We are going to use start moving straight at something percent speed. So we are going to use this block which is on the second to last block. So here um, you want to put a operation in the straight place because uh, we want to let the robot move forward while following the line. So you want to go to operators and you want to click on multiplication. 
and then you want to put it in the straight variable. So you want to multiply whatever's in this is by one. So you just type in one in the first box. And, and then you want to go to sensors because we want, um, we want to see the black line. So you want to go to um, reflected light intensity and put it in the second one. Actually, you don't do this first. You want to first go to the operators again, and you want to get out the subtraction operation and put it in the first one. So now you, the second one I meant. So now you have three slots, but this slot will be in the second slot. So then we create three slots. So make sure you have this like correctly in order because that makes a big difference because if you don't do um, the exact thing, it makes a big difference. So now you want to put the reflected light intensity in the front slot. So now you have um, this place. So um, if I'm too fast, you can always pause the video. Okay, so going on to the next part, we are going to subtract 50 from the reflected light intensity block. So what this does is, um, well, it'll start like following the line. So for right now, we have, we already finished, we already technically finished our my block, but as you can see, there's one problem. This speed is 50, while the my block speed is actually 30. So what we want to do is just pop this in here. And you don't have to erase this because once you put this in, then this represents 30 degrees. So this speed will represent 30 degrees. OK, so now we have finished our my block. Um, there is going to be a video at the end showing you our program. Well, this program of the line follow. Thanks for watching and subscribe, like, and turn on the notification bell to, to see our earliest, our latest videos. Thank you. Hello everyone. So this is the video for our robot. As you can see, our robot is right here. So what you want to first do is um, you want to start your robot, which will take a few So it's starting like here. We can wait. So while we waiting on that, we can see that um I forgot to say one thing in our um in before in like in uh the previous like like when I was showing you the program. Um, what you want to do is add another block called stop moving, which is in the movement section. Um, it's on the fourth block so that it doesn't like repeat forever. Um, then it won't work. So that sound means that our robot is on. As you can see the screen. So what we want to first do is connect our robot. So you can see that um, this part is red, right? We want it to turn green. So what we want to do is we want to connect this cable into the robot. For example, we, um, yeah, right here. So after that's done, um, it'll show that brick was successfully connected. And then, um, now you can actually download your program. So when, when you're downloading, you want to make sure that you have done, um, these rotations and the speed. So you can do whatever speed I prefer under a hundred or under 50. And for rotations, it matters, um, how long your black line is. So for example, if 
our black line is all the way like that long. I would prefer a six rotation limit. So then that would be six rotations. So um then we can download our program. So if we download, it'll make the sound, right? So once you see here, you then want to set your robot here and unplug the cable. Um, you want to click your program. As you can see, uh, my program is line follow. So I will go to, let's see. So as you can see here, that is line follow. So that means that once you come here, let's see. Okay, so um, now you want to set the position of your robot. So what I would set position is this because um, it usually works when it's in this position. Here. Okay, so once your robot is in a position you want, then you can start your robot. Okay, three, two, one. So as you can see, it's following the line. Um, and then after six rotations of that wheel, it will stop. As you can see, it just stopped. So now this is the line follow example. And this is the line follow program. Thank you.